Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to convert our light mode UI designs to dark mode UI designs instantly just like that. So one click solutions, a few click solutions are available on Figma and other tools as well. So let's jump right into it. Also, I'll be dividing this video into different chapters based on the level of the plugins or the level of the methods we're using today. So check out each one of these and see which best suits your use case. All right, so for the first method, I have this nice little UI kit called Time Pad Time Tracker. I will have a link to download this UI kit in the description. Now, as you can see, they have both dark mode and light mode, so we can easily easily compare between the two. Now for the first method, we will have to get a plugin called Dark Mode Magic. It's free of course, and you can download it from Figma community. Once you have that downloaded, I'm just gonna put these side by side just to see the differences. So if I click on this frame, which is 2.0 timer, I say Command P and select Dark Mode Magic or search for Dark Mode Magic. I will be able to get the entire UI to instantly convert to dark mode. I had to do nothing else. This plugin smartly does it. And as you can see, it's pretty, pretty close to the actual original dark mode that these guys provided to us. There are a few things for accessibility, like this outline, red outline, that helps to identify that as a button, especially for people who might not have a good vision or might be colorblind. It also changes a few colors here and there to fit the dark mode a little better. But I'd say just sticking with these colors would be nice. So manually changing some things will be required with this plugin. Apart from that, this plugin is not foolproof. So if I run this on this page right here, it isn't able to convert this piece of text because this piece of text has different thicknesses, different colors being used inside the text itself. However, if this text here was just something like one hour, 46 minutes like this, and then we converted this to uh, dark mode magic, it would instantly convert. Apart from that, the colors of icons or images or illustrations will also change to suit the dark mode better. For example, this green is 0A, F7A0, and this green here is, if I unlink this, 07E092. So there's a difference between these two greens as well. Apart from that, it ignores components like images and uh, flat illustrations. Anything which is not an SVG will remain the same, which I think is really cool. Otherwise, everything would be inverted. Now, I think this is a great solution for quick dark mode, and as you can see, it's like magic. However, there are other plugins and ways. So get, let's get to that as well. The next method that I love the most is called Automator. And Automator, if you guys don't know, is one of the best plugins I'd say on Figma right now. You can get it from Figma community and start working with it. I have an entire video just going through the automations and cool things you can do with the plugin. But for now, we'll stick to dark mode. So the plugin looks something like this. If I go to, if I go to this plus, if I go to the community tab in Automator right here, in fact, they have their own community as well. So you'll be able to find whatever you're looking for inside this as well. So light to dark mode um, flips light to dark mode and it does it very well. Here's a little tutorial on how it, he does it. It quickly just uses the automation, says light to dark mode. And as you can see, automatically converted to a dark mode. Of course, I suggest reading more about this uh, on their website itself. And with the Automator community, you can find so many other cool automations that you couldn't do with Figma already. All right, so for another method today, we'll be looking at Material Design's official plugin on Figma and how you can use it to create dark modes inside your designs. First, you need to go to a website like Unsplash or wherever you can find images and just say search for something like dark. In this case, I'm gonna search for setup, how there are different colors as, as well as it's a dark layout. It's, there's a lot of darkness in this as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this image real quick. When I come back to Figma, I'll be able to quickly open something called Material Theme Builder. Of course, you can find it in the community if you just search for Material Theme Builder, it will be right here for free, of course, again. Once you've installed it, come back and search for it and say, and say Material Theme Builder Open Plugin. This will open a plugin like this, looks cool already. I'm gonna say Get Started. So give it a few seconds, it's setting default theme for material theme, and it will be setting a default theme on this web page itself. Ah, as you can see, it inserts this color palette. Now, whatever changes you make inside the plugin, the color palette will also change currently. So I'm gonna select the image that we downloaded right now. And as you can see, 
there is a image right here and all the colors adjust with the image so you will have blacks you will have the super dark variants of this color itself so you will find a entire dark mode library already built inside this so you'll be able to see the dark mode colors and of course i've done an entire i've done an entire video showcasing material design how to study this color palette etc on my channel as well you can check it out later but as you can see you can see there is the text that you can use and the backgrounds that you can use so you can use it with different colors and different patterns here as well and what if you have to quickly apply it to something like this page well you can quickly go to the community tab once again and search for something called dark it will show you something called dark side this is the plugin that you need to get once you have installed this dark side plugin and you run dark side inside here as well i'll quickly say open dark side it has multiple styles as you can see dark light whatever you want to name it and what i want to do now is just select the dark artboards here so just select the dark artboards dark dark once you've selected both of these you want to right click and say first of all frame selection once you say frame selection you just want to click on create color styles and this will automatically create a color style library for you and now if i go back to this artboard right here i can quickly add any color from here based on the styles we had selected so you can search for one of these styles you can search for dark and it will show you dark 2 secondary secondary container under dark itself this will have this light as well as dark you know uh, library ready for you so whatever colors you want here you can kind of start adding it by clicking on the by going to the fill clicking on this little four dots here and searching for dark you will find all these right here so you can say something like on tertiary or on secondary and this will give you a nice little background like this you can change this any time to any of the other dark modes that you have available the background color is here as well so you'll have all these amazing components and dark modes available and you can manually now change it accordingly and you can follow all the rules and regulations of dark apart from this tutorial today i also want to share some articles with you which i will go ahead and link in the description on how to implement dark mode properly which will surely help you implement dark mode in your current ui as well i hope this video helped you out as much as it helped me out and i enjoyed making it as well I I post such videos every Monday and Thursday. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for more amazing content every single week. I'll see you next time same place same time. Until next time take care. God bless.